Good morning, everyone. We're going to be going over how I set up Healbot in Dragonflight. So if you haven't downloaded Healbot yet, I got it from CurseForge. And you just type in Healbot. Healbot continued shows up. And you're able to download it from there. And then sign into Warcraft. And it'll be ready to go. The first tab here that I messed with is I unchecked show mini map button. All that does is just pull it from here or hide it. I have the Titan panel up at the top and I already have a button for it up here so I don't need two places with the button. I didn't mess with anything in the overrides. It seems like I could really just make some things worse if I ended up dealing with that. The big thing here is spells. You have left click, middle click, right click, button 4, and button 5. Uh, if you have more buttons, this will continue to populate. And then you have modifiers, shift, control, and alt. And what you can do here as well is you can add custom modifiers for shift and control at the same time. That'll probably get a little, a little crazy. Luckily, me being a druid, I didn't need very much. So, I stuck with these four main spells. I have Auto Trinket 2 because I have Miniature Singing Stone, which has a use command on it as well. But I used Rejuvenation, Wild Growth Middle Button, Regrowth Right Click, and Life Bloom for Mouse Button 4. And then my only shift modifier that I used was Swift Mend. And that's only assigned to left click. Um, and then I also do control for nature's cure. Next we go to the skins general tab. I didn't do anything in here. I left sticky frames turned on. It didn't seem to really make much of a difference. Effects, I kept this pretty, uh, pretty standard. I used fluid bars with a high, higher refresh speed. Uh, frames really aren't an issue um, for me, even when I'm streaming. So I'm able to have a little bit of uh, of a nicer view. Again, I didn't change anything in here. I didn't do anything on this enemy tab. I have LVI as well, which has a boss frame uh, built into it, so I didn't need to uh, build out this particular uh, frame as well. I didn't do anything with the chat window. It can get a bit um, spammy, so I left it. Maybe you could set it up for uh, revives, uh, battle reses, stuff like that, but I left it blank. Okay, we're at the uh, general frames now. I have the frame anchor as the bottom left, which is down here. The bar anchor is the top left. So the frame, being the outside, um, is down here on the bottom left. But then the bar anchor inside the frame is on the top. Uh, top left. The grow direction for the uh, for the frame is vertical. You can have it set to horizontal and it will build the window out horizontally across the screen. I prefer it going up and down but it's completely up to you how you want to build it out. And then same with the bar orientation as well. So horizontal right here means that as we up, as the health goes up and down full health the bar is all the way over to the right and then as they lose health it goes to the left if you change this to vertical the health pool will be up here what well, is full health and then it will drop down you can change the uh, bar orientation uh, or size to suit how you want to have this um, visualized for you heal groups i didn't mess with much here I left pets and raid uh, open um, when I have a warlock or a hunter in my group. Um, it separates their pet out into a separate window. Uh, it, I believe it's either right off to the side or down below. What would happen here is that this option button moves up and the pets will appear right below. It won't be in this particular chat window on my screen. The entire frame will pivot upwards and create two separate areas, one for the players and then another one down below for the pets. Bar headers, I didn't um, have this checked. You can rename these as well to whatever you want, but
but I just left them empty. It didn't really um, have, a, have an effect on how I'm healing or who I'm healing, so uh, less clutter on my screen, the better. This is where it's gonna get really granular. You can have a lot of visual control over what you want. Remember back here with the general, where you could have your bar orientation and set it to vertical or horizontal. Now you you would follow up here with the height and width of the bars. So if you wanted to have your health pools go up and down, you could make the bar larger like that, give you a, uh, a more accurate representation of how their health is, is being managed. And then the same with the width, you can stretch it right out. So if you're keeping it hor uh, horizontal like I am, you can have a, a tighter window of, of the smaller increments of their health going up and down. Row spacer, all that's gonna do is increase the uh, gap in between the individual windows. I just kept it at two, just so there's a, basically a, a hairline in between each one. And then column spacer, the same idea. As the uh, groups are built out, it will add a, a gap in between the, the vertical groups in, in my case. The colors, this tab can get uh, pretty confusing. I spent a lot of time here um, dealing with a lot of um, cosmetic headaches, but um, I ended up settling on the health bar as a class, which actually we're gonna go on a little sidebar here. Uh, we're gonna go to buffs and you can see how we're white right here and it's white down here. So it's looking for Mark of the Wild. Um, and I have it just on raid, but it, when I have it on raid, it's self, party, and raid. So what I do is I just click my name and then it changes to orange, being the uh, class, the class color. And then I did the custom colors, healthy, injured, and critical. Added a threshold, adaptive background bar, uh, I think this is relative to the debuffs. A little bit of opacity. Hazard color, or hazard only on the border color. And incoming heals future health, which is really helpful because if someone's health is way down here and uh, if you're in a raid, you can see where other people are healing. If a huge heal is coming, you'll see their actual health measured here. And then you'll see a green line a green small box to represent the rest of the health that they're about to get. So you know whether you need to apply a small heal or a large heal to help uh, fulfill the person getting back to full health. Here you can sort how these groups are organized. I have it sort, uh, sorted by role and uh, you can do name, class, group, max health. The max health will basically uh, put the tank either at the top or at the bottom of your list depending on how you have this oriented since mine grows from down to top the tank is always on the bottom it doesn't really matter as long as the tank is in the same spot that way you always know where your your main targets always going to be i didn't mess much with the visibility kept it pretty uh, pretty stock same with the aggro i have monitor aggro on even though i have deadly boss mods it's even though, you, because I'm usually so hyper focused on this right here, that it's nice to get a, a, an aggro alert for the group. So if you see someone that's been targeted, uh, you can get a pre heal on them, especially as a druid. You generally, generally want to be proactive. Next, we have the auxiliary. I didn't make any changes or additions here. Everything is just turned off. Everything that I've needed so far has always been stuck within this one particular window. Our text. This is the font right here. Uh, you can adjust the um, specific font, size, the offset, whether vertical or horizontal. That's basically just gonna slide it left and right, up and down. Max characters, font outline. I generally just keep all that uh, as minimalist as possible and, and a nice clean font. So you can, I don't really care about the names. It's the health that really matters. Now we have the text. You want show health bar, and show health on bar. Again, font, font, vertical offset, vertical, horizontal offset, and then the same font characteristics. I just keep everything the same, and you can choose how you want their health to be displayed. 
I just have it set as just pure numbers. You can get have it a little more abbreviated. It's whatever suits your playstyle. Same with the colors. Keep all the numbers the same. The numbers same as the font, just to keep everything clean looking. You can show your incoming heels right here, and of course over heels. Okay. Next we have the icons. These are going to be for buffs and debuffs. We're looking at the debuffs here. They're going to appear in the bottom left on the bar. You can have adjust the maximum amount of icons, icon scale, and the vertical and horizontal offset. And you can see this visualized with the buffs here. So we're going to do a rejuvenation and a regrowth and a wild growth. And you can see the numbers per seconds are ticking down. This would be really important when you need to back up another heal. So we're going to do regrowth. And you can see just as it falls off, same with the regrowth, with the rejuvenation. So we have bottom right. You can change it to bottom left. However you want to orient it, whatever works for you. Same idea uh, as the debuffs, various offsets, icons, scales, and spacing. I haven't done anything with the extras. You can have it show class, which is just an icon. You can see it just barely right there. But I already have it, um, have the uh, bars as class colors, so I don't need that. Indicators, I'm not really sure what we have going on here, but it's checked. I don't have an emergency bar. I haven't really looked into it. Debuffs. I only have one debuff, Nature's Cure. So I have, I just have this set for all three, self, party, and raid. Um, I have priorities set. Uh, magic is number one, poison number two, curse number three, and disease is number four. Because if you look at Nature's Cure, cures harmful, harmful effects on the friendly target, removing all magic, curse, and poison effects. It doesn't say anything about disease. So I have that set as number four. So as your classes differ, you can reprioritize these as as you see fit. Because sometimes players will get multiple debuffs on them, and you want to be able to prioritize their colors based on your class. Here we have buffs. Same idea as what I was talking about before. If you have this set to white, anybody missing a certain debuff will be displayed in white. So with only Mark of the Wild as my party buff, that's the only one I have. So that's pretty much how we're um, going to be using this in an, in an instance or a raid. It works really well for me. You can see everything on the bar without any issue. You know exactly who's getting what. You can clearly see the countdowns. The countdowns go to a reddish orange when they're close. So you can prepare to start casting more. Now we're going to cut away to a couple of boss fights so you can see this all in action. Thank you very much.